Hi, I am Rajat. I tried cycling to office from Vasan Nagar to MG Road for the first time. What was stopping me so far? I, I don't feel safe. I don't want to become sweaty and tired when I reach office. You eat traffic a lot. You don't have to go to the cycle lane. But no worries. I got this wonderful cycle lane. Until here. Well, for the rest of it, it's me and the famous Bengaluru traffic. Unlike me, there are people who are not cycling to office for the first time. So I thought I'll talk to a few of them. This is Arun. I'm a general manager at Bosch. I'm an avid cyclist commuting to work over the last uh, five to six years. How did you... Yeah, how did I take up cycling? Yeah, so cycling, I think, I, I never let go of it. I mean, it, it's just part of life. So we decided to see if Arun actually got to his office faster on a cycle. So we followed him from his home in Kanapura to his office in Kormangla. This is a distance of about 15 kilometers. Once you get on the cycle, I think you will navigate your way through it. And uh, believe me, it's faster and easier to be on the cycle than in the car. And in 10 minutes, we lost him at JP Nagar Junction. And we started around the same time. I would say Rajat is about 10 minutes behind. He's already reached where we are. He beat us to office by 20 minutes. This is my colleague. My name is Shukumar, B.H. Shukumar, Deccaner and the Chief Photographer. I was surprised to hear how much he cycles. Sir, I'm going to go to the office in the office. Sir, I'm going to go to the office in the office in the office. Sir, I'm going to go to the office in 40-50 km. I'm going to go to the office in the office in the office. Plus, I'm going to go to the office in the office in the office in the office in the office. Sir, it's super, sir. Are you going to go to the urgent assignments? Sir, I'm going to go to the electric bicycle, EV assistant. I'm going to go to the office in the office in the office in the office. तो अतिंग लाई तो ना नोस रेगुलर गाफिस के लाख डे असिनमेंट गोड़ा डक्शन मारी वेजर रहता अथवा प्लेन आगे अथवा साका पाए तो उनका अनसिला। Before I was cycling, I was driving to work. That I found very difficult because of the traffic and the unpredictable nature of traffic in Bangalore. This is Shilpi Saho. She has been cycling to office since 2011. I've been living in Bangalore for about uh, 20 years and uh, I commute to work by cycle. My round trip is 23 to 25 kilometers. Shilpi was sure that she could cycle, but... What I was not sure about is whether I can cycle and not feel tired. Can I carry my laptop and change of clothes? I didn't even know where the cycle parking was. I mean, I didn't even think that that, that will be an issue. But I found it. I just kept it along with the cars. So there was parking for cars, but there was no parking for cycle. So, okay, Shilpi, Arun and Shivu have somehow managed to cycle to work. But for me, it'd be so much easier if the cycle track goes all the way to my office. Why does it stop suddenly? It is the fear that we will be taking away road space. A cycle track takes only one and a half meters of road space. This is Satya Shankar, the bicycle mayor of Bengaluru. I didn't even know we had one. Yes, I am the bicycle mayor of Bengaluru. I am one of the hundred that have been nominated by Bikes, a Netherlands-based uh, NGO. Cyclists don't have a voice in our cities. A lot of people were talking about cycling, but there was nobody to represent that cause and take it up. So as a bicycle mayor, uh, one is expected to coalesce all these voices. So in order to amplify something like that, I started the whole Cycle to Work program. In fact, some of the data from the Cycle to Work platform uh, that you see on the screen here is something that is 
useful to the government and it actually found its way all the way into the comprehensive mobility plan. Bengaluru's comprehensive mobility plan now has a separate allocation for cycle tracks. Take a look, phase 1 which started in 2020 and ends in 2022 is supposed to add 50 kilometers of cycle tracks. In phase 2, this jumps to 250 kilometers. By the end of phase 3, in 2035, Bengaluru should have 300 kilometers of cycle track. But will it succeed? And will it get enough cyclists on road? I think people need to be bold enough to use their streets in their neighborhood. So we are running this 15-minute uh, city campaign or my 15-minute city campaign where people are encouraged to go around in the neighborhood and use their bicycle more and more. So there needs to be a bunch of people who are committed to riding the bicycle. If you're sitting on the edge on saying, okay, should I cycle, should I not cycle? It, it, it's uh, more or less uh, in the mind. I didn't think of it as distance, I thought of it as time. Traffic can't be done. Traffic is all kinds of news. Cycle is also done. Scooter is also done. Bus is also done. Traffic is done. All kinds of things can be done. Cycle is the best answer. The government cannot uh, say that I need to see volumes of cyclists in order to give uh, infrastructure. There are just too many motor vehicles. You have to distribute road space equitably. That is a fundamental right. So you need footpaths. You need cycle tracks. Even if 20% of Bangalore is on a bicycle for some purposes, maybe not for all for commute to work, for groceries, for local trips. If we transform that, I think the city will be better off. Absolutely. Now that I've tried this out, I definitely think people who can cycle to work are true heroes. Tell us about your experience in the comments below. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and don't forget to cycle.